What's going on everybody? This is Nick Lawson from Squad Sports and this is episode number 49, almost number 50 of your sports sponsorship tip of the week. All right, this week I want to talk about how sponsorship can drive ticketing. Rich and I jumped on a podcast last week on the inches. If you haven't checked it out, definitely jump onto that just to talk about it. But I also posted an article uh, yesterday. Uh, you're seeing this uh, tomorrow, but yesterday, today, uh, just about the factors that are really going to bring what I think is going to be a bust uh, within sports attendance. Even when we get games back, the economy, the fact that we've been training our fans to consume from home and be comfortable, and some of the problems we haven't solved in the past is really going to create this place where um, it's going to be difficult to convince our fans to pay dollars to drive into our attendance. Now, it's a huge problem for us in sponsorship. We're losing some of that attention. We're losing some of the, that real estate in our stadiums if we can't get fans into the game, can't have them build upon the emotion. So the tip of the week is, this week surrounds around ticketing. Particularly, we're going to get tactical here. And the tip of the week this week is this. If you can create a ticketing incentive package for your sponsors to be able to subsidize some of the ticket um, cost to get fans in, that's going to be prime, prime real estate moving forward. So this is what I mean by that. If you, Let's say you have a group of tickets in an area that your ticketing sales team just cannot move. They absolutely can't sell, can't move, can't get you know off of their, uh, I guess, sales sheet uh, on that end. What we never want to do is we never want to drop the price of our tickets. That's going to devalue the value to the customer. All of a sudden, the next time we try to increase those ticket prices, it's going to be a problem. So we never want to drop the price, but what we can do is subsidize. And sponsors are a great way to, uh, I guess, uh, fund that subsidizing uh, piece. So tip of the week is this. Create a campaign with your sponsor where fans either have to complete certain tasks. You can do a scavenger hunt. We just launched with one with Mall of America uh, digitally, so scan QR codes, so this would be a great fit up for that as well. But whether it's a scavenger hunt, whether it's actually making purchases, whether it's people doing a hashtag and basically doing hashtag uh, bought Doritos, terrible hashtag, but hashtag bought Doritos, and they post a picture of them holding a bag of Doritos, and then that enters them into winning um, a special ticketing price to this section. You're doing a couple things here. The first thing you're doing is you're syncing that sponsor uh, with some reciprocity, meaning that you're that fan is doing something for them by buying those Doritos, so you're gonna do something back for them uh, and be able to get them to a game at a price that's gonna come in at their price value level. So right then and there, you're already building that connection with the sponsor. Second, obviously you're driving sales. Right? If I can buy a bag of Doritos and have that be that I save $10 on a ticket uh, purchase for this section, um, immediately, immediately, you're driving direct sales for the sponsor. So already you're proving that value. I think the third piece of this too is once we do get those fans in that section, uh, what are some cool sponsor things that we can do in that section uh, to be able to engage with them, right? So whether it's throwing out bags of Doritos only to that section once they get there, right? Whether it's having Doritos mascots come in, whether it's pulling in uh, fans and doing a Doritos activation, but only from that section next thing you know fans are like man I wish I sh could be in the Doritos section let me go purchase a bag of Doritos to kind of drive this in so again the tip of the week this week is we want to fill our buildings again I think there's going to be somewhat of a slowdown you know there might be a little bit of boom once we get full capacity but then there's three factors in particular again the impending uh, recession that we might see just due to COVID and um, unemployment rates being so high, so disposable income will be down. That's also a problem for your sponsors, right? Uh, the second piece of that uh, is just, we've really trained our fans to consume online. And the third piece is there's a lot of problems we never solved. Long lines at concessions, parking, uh, high ticket price to price it out. These are all things that fans have voiced uh, their opinions, whether directly or whether it's staying at home and we've seen the tennis drop. I think if you are a team, especially with your sponsorship department, that can actually anticipate 
this drop and build packages around hitting those at the right time so that your stadium's always full, you're going to increase ticket sales over the long, uh, over, over the, a longer span because more fans in the stadium, better experience. Better experience means that more fans will want to buy tickets. This is a great way, again, to tie your sponsor in. When we think about partners, they are our community partners, right? They're really our partners, our sponsors. They're partnering with us. So what we can do is build a win-win, uh, you know, build a win-win uh, strategy with them to where they're getting their items purchased you're getting a full stadium uh, and can really, really grow and move from there. If none other, you know, I, I know ticketing departments are hate doing discounts, hate doing these things. If nothing else, they will be getting a database of ticket buyers that they can go upsell, right? So if your ticketing department's giving you a bunch of flack for this, you know, making that purchase and having them and then sending them a link that they have to enter their email in you can check against the database are they first time purchasers are they you know uh, multi-game purchasers what are they do we not even have them in our database uh right now these are all things that your ticketing department can go sell upon by the way you can also run uh retargeting ads to this data to really double down with let's say a doritos right so again i think these sections will be really important one to pull fans in those fans that maybe can't afford and they're priced out when we get back uh, of let's say a $40 ticket, we can bring that down to a $20 ticket, force them to engage with the sponsor, making a purchase, visiting a dealership, whatever that may be. And then we can get them there and give them a crazy good experience. You already know that fan engaged with that sponsor the first time uh, they purchased, right? They made that purchase to get that deal. They're primed for that sponsor to be able to activate on location with. That section should just be a blast. It should be awesome. Again, if I'm Doritos, I'm throwing bags of Doritos out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going crazy. So everybody's looking at that section saying, man, I want to be a part of that section. That's how you can really fill your stadium if we're starting to see a, a decline within our attendance. So that's your tip of the week this week. Again, thinking of ways, and again, we did this on the podcast last week, so definitely jump on the inches there, but thinking of ways that we can integrate our sponsors to almost fund or subsidize some of the ticket sales loss that we might be seeing to make sure our stadiums are full. And then once we do, really make that experience amazing for the fans so that they crave it, they wanna come back each game and be in that uh, sort of section that's gonna build a bunch of brand consideration. Uh, it's gonna just build the brand up for that fan and make your game day the awesome experience synonymous with that sponsor. That's how we can really think about this. So again, tip of the week, make a fan, make a purchase, do a hashtag, do a scavenger hunt, whatever it is, but have that subsidized tickets to a section, bring them in, make the experience amazing. No sponsor will not buy that package. Uh, it's going to be very hard for a sponsor not to be able to engage and buy that package. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. As always, uh, shoot me any comments that you have, uh, any questions that you have. But remember, keep pushing those limits within sports sponsorship. Thank you.